Welcome back to Primetime News Special. Welcome to the folks watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, after weeks of delay, the Integrity Commission today published the Prime Minister's statutory declarations. This after calls from the opposition People's National Party as well as National Integrity Action. But what do the declarations show? More in this report. I'm hopeful that before the week is out, the, the Integrity Commission will make public my declarations. If not, I will have to possibly do it myself. That promise from Prime Minister Andrew Holness on Wednesday. But on a Friday, the Integrity Commission ensured he did not have to publish his own statutory declaration, a summary of the Prime Minister, his wife and their children's assets, liabilities and income at the end of 2018 was gazetted. It shows Mr. Holness, his wife and children earned just over $15.5 million last year, other income totaling 8,000 US dollars or just over 1 million Jamaican dollars was also reported. On the asset side, the family fared better. The summary declaration shows the wholeness family owned assets to the tune of $161 million. The breakdown was reported as follows. Savings account had money totaling $1 million. And the current accounts the family held had a total balance of under $16.4 million. Investment securities valued more than $10 million, while real estate was valued at $7 million. The bulk of the assets, though, $125 million in all, were categorized as real estate mortgages, receivables, and business investments. The rest, $435,000, was reported as monies to be collected. On the other hand, the family only owed $22 million. $20 million of that was classified as other accounts payable, while the rest, less than $2 million, was a mortgage. Mr. Holness and the family owed nothing in the U.S. dollars but had a U.S. dollar saving accounts with $28,000 or 3.8 million Jamaican dollars. The figures outlined are for the Prime Minister's statutory declaration for 2018. TVJ News could not ascertain if the declarations for 2017 were cleared. Members of the Integrity Commission said they could not comment on the matter and even pointed out that the law requiring a summary of the filings to be published only took effect last year and it does not cover the 2017 declarations. Dashan Hendricks, TVJ News.